Good morning everybody. I have been for a run this morning as you would have seen which is a new thing for me. I'm in Whangamata. I have not been here since July last year so the last vlog that you saw of me here was the last time I was here but I'm so excited to be here, so excited to be at the beach. Today is Thursday so I actually have work still so I'm just working remotely from here because my job's remote so I can work from anywhere I want. I've also had a few questions coming through about where I work. I don't really think I've spoken about it on YouTube, I honestly can't remember, but I work as a community coordinator at a social media agency in Auckland. Yeah, I'm down here till Saturday night with mum and dad and then Matt and Sage are coming down to join us tonight. But this morning I got up at seven and went for a run to the beach. So it was like a two, just over two kilometer run like there and back and I'm not a runner but Owen and Taya, so Owen my boyfriend and Taya my flatmate sent me the challenge last week that we would run a 10 kilometer fun run at some stage this year. They said July, I think that might be a little bit ambitious but we're making progress so who knows, I don't even know if there is a fun run that takes place in July that we can do but I used to be a, a runner. I used to do long distance running because I used to do orienteering. I stopped that in year 11 so I haven't done running in a very long time. Owen kind of sent me the challenge of doing a kilometre a week for a week and then starting to introduce some two kilometre runs and then like going from there. So I did a week of one kilometre runs and I'm up to the second week now and I took two days off because I got my COVID booster shot. But today came back and did a 2k run which is the longest one I've done. Doesn't really sound like much but I'm quite proud of myself so uh, that's that. Yeah I have work today it's like 20 past 8 so I, I got back from my run probably half an hour ago but I've just been sitting down on the couch just chilling out because I'm on holiday mode but I need to switch into work mode because I need to start work probably at 9 30. I need to actually look like I'm gonna go do some work so I have a shower and have some breakfast and get going. had breakfast and it is time to do some work. Mum and Dad have gone for a walk down to the beach. They were going to come with me this morning at 7am but they went awake so I went without them. They don't have a work to do today. So I do. So that is what I'm going to do now. It's probably going to take me at least until lunchtime to do what I need to do. Um, whether or not they want me on this afternoon, uh, that's TBD. Matt and Sage should be here this Savo at like, well they said they'd leave Auckland at like 2.30 but I feel like it's going to be later than that. So much for us you guys after lunch. It is now 5.26 p.m. and it ended up being a very, very busy day at work. But I'm going to the supermarket with mum to get some stuff for dinner. We're home from the supermarket and it's actually a few hours later, but Matt and Sage are here. Hi. <laughs> and we're having dinner. Salad, chicken, noodles, fish, and garlic bread coming. Yeah. And I also got a very exciting package which arrived at home this morning, but Matt and Sage brought it down for me, so I will show you guys that after dinner. All right, I'm about to head to bed, but before I head to bed, as promised, I'm going to give you guys a little haul of what, um, if you can read that, that might be a little hint actually. Before I launch into this, I do need to preface. I was sponsored what I'm about to show you, but as part of the agreement for the sponsorship, I did not have to show it on YouTube. I'm just showing you because if I was watching this, I'd want to be seeing it. And so I'm going to show you. I'm not going to try it on. There's a hint, it's clothing, but I will show you. It's from Princess Polly, and when this video comes out, my discount code should be live, which is Emma Polly for 20% off site wide. Anyway, let's go. First up, we have these shorts. I'm pretty sure these are called the Beach House shorts in pink. They look kind of orange because our walls are orange. Kind of like a red crimson kind of colour. But I have these also in white and black. I have the white ones here that I got a long time ago. So yeah, super comfy and great. For the summertime, I was talking to Owen's brother's girlfriend about shorts, and we were saying about how... We love wearing fabric shorts because denim shorts just aren't the go all the time. Tea here, which is from Jagger and Stone. Well, it's from Princess Polly, but the brand's Jagger and Stone. And it's got graphics on the back. We have this, which upon getting this, I'm pretty sure I already have this. But I don't know if it's in black or white. The material feels a lot thicker than I remember, so I think it's a different shirt. I like a similar cut. Then these jeans, which it's not jeans weather, but 
they were too cute to pass off so i got them then we have these shorts which are called the elise shorts and i also have these in white back in hamilton and so i knew they were good so i got them in a different color but we have these sunglasses which are called the otis sunglasses kind of cool kind of trendy and then these sandals which are called the mabel sandals i also have these in like a nude creamy color but these ones are recycled but it is eight minutes to ten so i'm gonna head to bed because i'm planning on getting up in the morning and go for another run yay but i'm also planning on sleeping until seven o'clock because normally i get up at six so seven o'clock to sleep in and i will take it so i will see you guys in the morning i don't know how loud to talk because i don't know if i'm still asleep good morning guys today is friday it's friday now that i'm working full time it's like i really appreciate my weekend so fridays are great I have just popped some muffin splits in the, not the microwave, not the oven, toaster, in the toaster for breakfast. If you are a Kiwi kid and these like represent your childhood, let me know in the comments. I don't know whether this was just a thing with our family or whether this is like a universal experience, but like whenever I see these in the pantry, you will find me eating them. I went for my run this morning. From here, there's a short way and a long way to the beach and I was like, okay, I'll go there the long way and come back the short way. Yesterday, I went the short way and came back the same way. And then I was like thinking about it and I was like, I struggled with the short way both ways yesterday. And so I just did that again today and struggled again, but I got my splits down, so that's good. But it is 10 minutes past eight. I'm aiming to start work today at 8.30 because I have a bit of stuff to get through. And I have a couple of meetings from 10 to 11 and 11 to 12. And so I want to get the bulk of my work done before those meetings happen. Like I kind of have to, so there's, that there's deadlines to meet. Anyway, I'm gonna have some breakfast do my bible reading in my fresh new bible which i spoke about on instagram quick squiz it's a journaling bible and then crack into some work and i'm hoping this afternoon i will be able to have a break from around 2 30 till 4 um oh my muffins have popped oh my muffins are stuck my muffins aren't done i'm hoping i'll better have a break from maybe 2 30 till 4 to go for a swim and Sage actually got an inflatable paddle board which she's brought down with her and I kind of want to have a go because I was literally looking at that exact paddle board and then Owen's like Emma you don't need a paddle board where are you going to use it because I live in Hamilton like you can't just pop down to the lake and go for a paddle board because if it fell and you'd probably get a disease. Hopefully we'll be able to take that down to the estuary and if I like it I might just buy one myself. All right after much debate as to what would be for lunch it is now 20 past one and I have a half an hour lunch break but dad and Matt and Sage went down the road and got Matt and I sushi and everyone else fish and chips so we're gonna go sit outside and eat which is gonna be nice. I have some sushi. Good looking fish there dad. Yeah it's good. I like your shirt. It's good. <laughs> Hello everybody, so much for catching up with you guys this afternoon. It is now quarter past eight. We went for, well, Matt and Sage and I went for a swim and like we went for a boogie board after I finished work and the waves were so good and the water was so warm and there weren't many people there, which is great because I always get see on the boogie board that I'm gonna like go and like crash into a kid or something. I only smacked one person across the head with a boogie board. So that was great, apologize, it was fine. We're having pizza for dinner. Mum's rolling the dough, Sage is eating some chips. <laughs> Sage has made the dough. Sage, you, Sage made the dough. And Dad went and took about 45 minutes to go buy those three things from the supermarket. So, yeah. Oh, I'm clearly not got it quite right here. Ooh, what's that one? Chicken, cranberry, and or camembert. And, oh, that's Dad. And <laughs> garlic bread. Good morning guys, it is Saturday, I was going to say Sunday, no it's Saturday and we are heading off, or well, the girls are heading off to go shopping, um, obviously I don't have work today so very expensive, oh, jeepers. We're going to go hit the surf shops and there's like some cute homeware stores down here as well so I'm a little interior design self is going to go and have a look and see what there is, I never buy anything but it's always nice to look. So last night we had a couple of power cuts, like real like short ones so I don't know what was going on there, I messaged my friend Chrissy who I also am planning on catching up with this afternoon to see if she had any issues and she didn't and she lives like a kilometer away so I don't know if it was just our street or what but anyway we're gonna go shopping and you guys are gonna come along with us. Okay, see you hey guys, we're years. shopping and I gotta like, introduce <gasps> yourself. Is there any I'm friends Chloe. you to say hi to? Um, no one. <laughs> 
All right, we are back home from our little shopping expedition, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul. Normally, when I go down the street here in Fonga, I don't buy anything because, like, I just don't like spending my money. But I branched out today thanks to a little bit of peer pressure from Mum and Sage. Also, shout out to you, Chloe. Chloe came up to me down the street and I love when you guys come up to me. So if you ever see me in public, don't think that you're like being annoying. I love meeting you guys, so please come up and say hello. But when I met Chloe, I was in the process of buying a wallet from uh, Status Anxiety. Is that up the right way? Yeah, Status Anxiety. I have been needing a new wallet for a very long time. Currently, I'm just using like a little card holder and that's not really cutting the mustard. Every time I go into the shop, I look at their wallets and I have been for the last three years. And so I decided since I'm working, I may as well treat myself. Since I hate, hate that term. I bought myself this wallet, which is very cute. It's got like a zip, space for cards. There's got more space for cards in the back there too. Like that. And I, uh, I was in the shop looking at it. I was like to mum, I'm like, I need to make sure it fits in my handbag, but I don't want to make it look like I'm stealing it. And so mum yells across the store, she's just seeing if it fits in her bag. And I was like, okay, that's how the store knows. And then we worked our way through some of the surf shops. And from, I don't know the name of the one, if you're familiar with the Fungamata Main Street, it's the one on the corner opposite Sunny's. And I got this little Roxy crew neck, like that. It's got Roxy embroidered on the front. And like a little cable like I, I just I don't know I thought it was really cute and it'll go with everything when I originally picked it up I thought it was in the kids section and I was like eh, I'll still buy it but no it's from the ladies section so those are my two purchases of the day we picked some stuff up from the bakery to have for lunch and so I'm gonna go out and have some lunch I just had to come in here and vlog because the boys are watching TV and it's very loud but yeah we're gonna have some lunch and then I think we're gonna go for a swim and I might catch up I'm planning on catching up with Chrissy before we head home this afternoon. You guys may know Chrissy, she has been in the vlog before, but she is a local down here who I met because she came to my meet and greet that I did down here two summers ago, two summers ago, three summers ago. Yeah, two summers ago. Alrighty, we are about to go for a swim. These also all time favourite swimmers. I wore the same cut ones yesterday, so they're both in the same place. It's from Napoleon Wear. It used to be called Napoleon Swimwear, but it's now just Napoleon Wear little small business in Melbourne that I found out about on TikTok during lockdown last year. Um, so actually, <laughs> the other ones are out on the clothesline. But yeah, we're gonna go for a swim paddle, I don't know, something or other. And we have made it home. I had the GoPro with me when we went down to the estuary and Chrissy came along as well, which was so nice to catch up with her. But <laughs> it was a little bit of a mission. Sage got this paddle board and she'd never used it before. And so we took it out of the bag and had to pump it up, it's an inflatable one. So you have to inflate it every time in her car's, she only drives a Corolla, so then you have to dis, like, re, disinflate, uninflate, deflate. You have to deflate it to put it in the car. We were inflating it and it was all going well, and so we carried it down to the beach, and then you had to attach the fin. And to attach the fin, it like slid into this little like plastic like slot, but there was already something in there which you had to like slide out, and it was like jammed in there, so we couldn't get it out, and Matt was like, trying to get it out for ages and then eventually he did get it out and in the process like slice his finger and there's blood gushing everywhere and so it was all like a bit of a scramble and then Chrissy and I had to take the paddle board down to the water because the tide was out. Matt and Sage went back to the car so Sage could bandage up Matt's finger and then they came back and we all got to go on the paddle board which was great and in the process of it all we left our stuff sitting in the shade under a tree and then they started setting up a wedding literally with our stuff in the middle of the shady spot and so then we had to go move our stuff oh sorry we're setting up a wedding and we're like we can see that and then my parents rocked up and we're like emma you need to get in the car we need to go home because we have to be back home in auckland at 5 30 and so it was just an absolute whirlwind but we're home now it's um 20 minutes to nine so thank you guys for watching it's good to be back in the vlog game i feel like i haven't actually vlogged like this for so long um and i've really enjoyed it so if you guys enjoyed it too Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, it really helps support my channel. If you made it this far, comment a wave emoji. But thank you guys for watching, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video.